Deepwater Horizon was the largest oil rig in the world and was digging the deepest well that has ever been dug in the history of the world. Well, everybody knows what happened in 2010 in the Gulf, but not a lot of people are aware of the fact that people lost their lives. You are watching the 12 hours that lead up to the Deepwater Horizon event through the eyes of all these different characters and the decisions they had to make in a very challenging situation. We're holding 1395, Mr. Jimmy. That's a lot of pressure. You have to cut your car in half. We're currently building a recreation of the actual rig. It's one of the largest sets ever constructed in the history of film. It's kind of surreal. You look around and we built an entire rig on a water tank. It's cool. <laughs> That's the coolest. Our main deck is 53 feet in the air. Our heli deck is another 14 feet on top of that. The tank size is two and a half million gallons. When you walk through the drill shack or when you walk through the Deepwater Horizon bridge, there are all these monitors, all these buttons. We're just trying to keep it real. Those screens are real screens and that all came from the real rigs. In talking to some of the people here who were on the oil rig, they were always amazed at how accurate the drill site was and the rig and the bridge. What man can make is unreal. And talk about putting an actor right where they need to be. When we were trying to duplicate the uh, mud blowout, it just required an enormous amount of mud. I think we were going somewhere around five to 6,000 gallons of mud per take. It was more mud than I've ever seen in my life. We have fire, oil, mud. We're gonna do as much of this practically as we possibly can. It's not difficult to imagine the confusion and the panic. There's debris and shrapnel like flying everywhere. Everything's hot too, everything was on fire. It's like a frying pan, it's kind of crazy. People are like, yeah, we're just gonna light you on fire for a little while. Not a lot of fire. I'm like, this is not a good idea. This is about the 11 people that lost their lives and the people that went out there on the rig and their loved ones. We've been able to have so many people that were involved with the Deepwater Horizon, Mike Williams and Caleb Holloway, who were both on the oil rig during the time. And they had a complete license to say, hey, this is how it happened. This is a great opportunity to show the world what those men and women do out there. It's very dangerous work. Anything can kind of happen at any time. I don't care if it's 130 degrees on the rig and Pete's trying to blow you up every chance he gets. Those are the things that you kind of step up and do whatever you need to do to get it right. I found him here like this. He's hurt real bad. And I can't get him up. He's down right <laughs> It gives you the chills, you know, you couldn't imagine being a part of such a disaster. You love these people, you get to know them, and you want to see them survive, and then you realize this is not a world that you've seen before. You need to have reason to, to want to make a movie. For me, it's the folks that survived that rig explosion. These people went through it. It's not make-believe.